all counts, the NorCal rapist Roy Waller now facing life in prison for a 15-year string of crimes, including rape and kidnapping. CBS 13's Marissa Perlman is live outside Superior Court with what one juror said led them to the verdict, Marissa. Yeah, it only took the jury about two and a half hours to hand down that conviction. And one juror we spoke with this afternoon say it all, says it all came down to the one thing that Roy Waller left behind at nearly every crime scene. DNA don't lie. 60-year-old Roy Waller remained expressionless in court as each verdict for 46 charges was read. Michael H., juror number seven, says he had little doubt Waller was guilty. It's just terrible the way he proud on them young ladies. Prosecutors say every assault had the same M.O. Women tied to a bed for hours with their eyes taped shut. Prosecutors paint Waller as a stealth criminal who kept a list of women he would grade on their appearance until he could slip into their homes and attack them. His crimes, including rapes and kidnapping, spanning cities from Chico to Sacramento. It was an open and closed case. Everything was, was right there for us. Investigators used a genealogy website tracing DNA from crime scenes to Waller, the same technique that captured and convicted Golden State killer Joe D'Angelo. Waller denied raping any of his victims, despite police saying DNA was found at all but one of the crime scenes. He couldn't challenge the DNA at all. Nicole Ernest Pate is Waller's no. first known victim. For her, today was a long time coming. 29 years of waiting and waiting. Amazing. Great day. Great day. Teresa Lane was blindfolded and attacked in her Vallejo home. She fought Waller, stabbing him in the forehead. A similar scar on Waller's head, something the prosecution used as evidence in court. There's some things that will never, you know, go away, but he's, he's going away, so. <laughs> Now, Waller's attorneys had no comment, and the prosecution had little to say except they're grateful for the DNA evidence and hope to get justice for every victim. Waller faces life in prison when he's sentenced back here in court next month. Just like the East Area Rapist case, the victims emerge triumphant. Marissa, thanks.